Hey guys, it's Amber from Amber Plans Today, and I wanted to come on and do a craft space tour with all of you guys. So make sure you stay tuned. So the first thing that I really just want to show you guys is my desktop. So um, what I'm going to show you is my corner up here. I always keep all of my faith essentials. So I have my um, study book that I'm currently going through. I have my Bible. This is a Bible and coffee Bible. Um, it is absolutely stinking gorgeous. When I fall, I shall rise. And then the back says, when I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. This is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous Bible. Currently, I have a print off of a Daily Grace Co. Bible study. Um, this is just like a, a lead up to Easter. That's why I'm currently doing this one. And then, of course, up in the corner, my ever so beautiful faith planner. So that's kind of what I just leave up here in this corner just to have it on my desk, always accessible. And then I go straight over to my catch-all planner. This is almost always open on my desk because I always need to be seeing my plans. So this one is always open to the current week. And then over here in this corner, I have my social media planner with my um, essential bag. In my essential bag, I usually have my flare, my paper mate flare. I got my mild liners in here. Um, I have my like Pentel brush pens. Um, I have my like corrective tape, or not my corrective tape, my permanent adhesive roller. Um, I usually have my jelly roll in here and then I have like my Muji, my Muji pen. So this is just kind of it sits on my desk just for all of my essentials. Then in here, this is the accessory box that the Hyper Planner came out with. I usually have current sticker books right here. Um, these are the ones that I'm currently using that I usually need throughout the week for pictures and stuff like that. This is my mini planner. I have a mini happy notes just for quick note jotting. Of course, I have my scissors and just another little bag of essentials um, in here. And then this is my faith planner back here. And then this one is my wellness. So I usually just kind of keep them in the slots and I pull them out daily to write in them. And then just since we're on the desk already, I'll just talk about how I film my videos. So I have this like bar that um, hooks up to my DSLR camera um, and then so that it faces right over top of what I'm filming and then usually my ring light um, this is a Sunpack brand 19 inch I believe um, is what I got and I usually just have it sitting right directly over as well this is kind of a secondary small ring light doesn't actually do too much but it came with my bar um, that I used for propping, so I just attached it. Um, but it does like, I, I usually get it up nice and close to get a little bit of extra light um, when I'm filming. Okay, so now I'm gonna push my chair in and we're gonna talk about what's behind me, I guess we'll go first. So this is my color background poster board. I've been starting to try to do some colored backgrounds on Instagram, so I just keep all of my poster board. I kind of collect them at Joanne when I find them um, and just kind of have, you know, a variety of colors. Then down here in this tub, I got this tub at the Dollar Tree. I have like a couple um, plants, fake plants plants. Um, I use these for propping in my photos on Instagram. You guys probably see them in some of my thumbnail videos. And then I actually just recently bought some of these really cute glass jars for props as well. I got these at the Target dollar spot. Um, they're actually 50% off. I don't know. I just went the other day when I was looking for a couple essential items. Um, what was I looking for the other day? I just went yesterday. I was looking for size for baby nipples. Anyway, that's totally random. I don't have to justify why I'm going out for essentials, right? And then I also grabbed this really pretty candle for um, photo props as well. So this bin is really just for photos and for photo props just to make sure that um, my content is looking fresh. 
All right, now we will move on to the infamous shelf that you guys see in my happy news videos. I guess we'll just work from the top down. So I just have some decoration up here. Um, this is the, um, let's see if I can find it. This is the Live Creatively desk art. And I usually just flip it to something random and have it really pretty up here. And then um, this was a wedding gift for my husband and I. Just some extra pens that I don't use very often. These are the Stradler brand. I love the pen. It's a very fine tip. Um, and they're really good. They're really good to work with. But I just don't reach for them very often because I love my flare so much. I have this desk art as well. So just some decoration up here. In this little small cubby, I have all of my mega books. Um, I reach for these quite a bit, especially when I need like essential um, functional stickers. I love those for them. Then these all right here are my planner companions. If you guys don't know what a planner companion is, I'll just grab a random one out. This is the recipe one. It's just kind of like, it comes. it's like a little kit that comes with a whole bunch of little essentials that help you plan for something specific. Um, if I'm using it, I'll have it out, but usually it just sits in here. I like the way that it looks in the folders. I have two big planners. These are my, this is what my memory planner, um, that I'm four months behind on, which means if you can calculate, we're in April and I'm four months behind. So technically I haven't even started it. I'll get to it though, don't worry. Um, I've, I've caught up before, trust me. And then this is an undated one that I have um, that's just extra in case I need it for later. So then up here I have some more artwork. This is another like little desk art. This one is the Woman Kind desk art. I love this one so much. The, like the colors and the sayings in this one like really are just beautiful. Just flip it to random stuff a lot. Some more extra pens. These are my um, colorful paper mate flares. So just the normal paper mate flare. And then I do have my extra Mujis in here as well. And then these are all of my pins. I'll take it out and show you guys because I love my pins. Um, these are mostly all the Happy Planner brand. And I do have one that is Heather Kell from Califan or Kelva Plan, but the pin says Califan. And the rest of them are Happy Planner brand. I'm trying to collect as many as I can to fill up this really pretty canvas. I think it just adds so much decoration and like really prettiness to my little shelf here. So then coming down, we have Sticker Central. Um, these bins, I'll show you guys, I have, an, I have a couple extra ones. These bins are from Target. I absolutely love these. They have a really fun design on them. They come in this teal color. They come in white, clear, gray, and like a corally pink color, almost like the color of this actually. Um, and it's really pretty, but um, I kind of wanted the gray, but when I was at the store, I remembered that the color of my shelf would not really match gray. So I ended up with the teal just for a little pop um, in my craft room. But these are from Target. They're $4 a piece um, in like their storage section. And they fit 30 sticker books perfectly. So let me tell you guys how I store my sticker books. So right now it's kind of a jumble, but these are the most current sticker books. This is from the most current release um all of them and then we kind of work backwards from release from there so like then this was the release before we have our happy planner girls from 2019 and this one like the planner babe glam girl happy hostess just those ones and then in here we start getting into the older ones where they did not have the labels on them but um and then some of the other ones from the end of 2019 and then we keep going. We have our 2018 stickers, um, our 2019 student and teacher releases, and then we have our 2018 sticker girls, our Miss Maker, the Socialite, Healthy Hero, all of those ones, the Faith, the Mom. And then I kind of come over here into the other releases. So then um, here we have some, our 2017 girls. We have Glam Girl, Goal Getter, Trendsetter, and Daydreamer. 
Then we have all the rest of like the 2017, even going into the 2016 year. Um, so I kind of, I kind of sort these by release, just not in order down the line. And then these ones are all like from 2017 and 18. So these two are kind of switched up, but um, these ones have like the colorful boxes, the gold star quotes, all of those ones. And then coming down here to my last um, bin of stickers, we have my happy memory keeping sticker books. And then we have like the original, original sticker books, like the planner basics, the seasonal, the one, like the one, two, three, four that everyone talks about with the florals on the cover. That's down here. And then I also have like my um, multi-packs. These guys, these are always label, um, always in the back of there. I don't reach for these as often. I should because they're just stinking gorgeous. Um, so those are back here. And then I also have some, I think I have some accessory books back here too. Uh, maybe not. I have some journaling stickers. I thought I had, oh, here's the accessory packs. So then I have these ones. This is the accessory book. This one has the um, pad in it with the sticky notes and then some stickers as well. So those are the accessory books, which are really fun too. And I just kind of keep them down here in the back of all the sticker books. So then now we're coming up to my hot mess express. Over here I have, um, <laughs> my planning guides that I reach for a lot. Love, love, love these. I'd have just some random filler paper in here. Um, I have random notebooks. Um, these are the happy planner journals. It's, it's funny because like I know where everything is and I use it all, but like it seems like a hot mess. Some envelopes, love my envelopes. And then just some like random stickers and stuff like that have fallen out of sticker books. Just kind of put them in here. So then here is like true Hot Mess Express, right? So um, totally random section, but we have basically just some extra markers. I have like prayer list. That actually should be over here. Look at me figuring out my organization with you guys. Um, we have like, this was my daughter's... Um, blood pressure thingy in the hospital. Why did I say this? I don't know. I have some micros in here. Got some punches. Um, if you guys don't use your pun these punches, these are really fun to use, especially with some scrapbook paper. We have like birthday cards, um, holiday cards. This is my invitation to my baby shower. I mean, so just a lot of like memory keeping stuff that's down here. Um, I can show you guys. These are all extra pictures. I overprint pictures like nobody's business. But these are all extra pictures. <laughs> so that's kind of a fun one, I guess. I have just some extra scissors and small washi tape and I mean just random stuff. I don't reach for things in here as often, but it is a lot of just memory keeping stuff and just loose loose ends and pictures and stuff like that. So then coming down here, I'm gonna just sit down. Um, we have old planners. And since we're down here, I can show you guys a couple of them. Let's see if I can find, this was my very first planner, 2016, 2017. This cover is just gorgeous. I loved this, like this was my planner. And let me just, this was before I knew that stickers existed. This is, stinking hilarious um oh yeah look at this one like very busy rainbow spread that's fun and then oh i got into some color story that's pretty cute and some of it i didn't use like towards the end because i got a new planner um but i did like love how <laughs> Oh, looking back. Don't you just love looking back? But anyway, oh geez, it is just so thick that my cover fell off. That's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, that was my first ever planner. It was an 18 month planner. Kind of fun. It's kind of fun to look back. So I do save my planners. Um, I'm considering doing what Allie from According to Allie does. 
she takes them off of her discs and put them in puts them in um freezer bags so that she has her discs because like it's really pretty to look at but these discs are useless to me and like these are the purple metal discs from um one of the target student planners just on my super mom planner from last year let's see if i can show you guys some of those spreads this one's from just from 2019 so just basically uh nothing special here but um but you know those discs are so pretty and they're metal and look at this my trendsetter planner with black metal discs like why is this on here like i should take these off because the black metal discs are everyone's favorite anyway this is my work planner this is kind of crazy to look back on loved this planner too um but anyway so that's what's down here i do have like a couple happy notes that i reach for pretty regularly like that one um i have a guided journal down here that i reach for sometimes and then like a faith like a faith um happy notes that i reach for these are some of my old memory planners i can't show you tons of these because there are um like foster children's faces in here and that stuff is confidential that's the biggest reason i don't share memory planning with you guys which is probably why i'm not very accountable to doing it sorry okay so then moving over here we do have like these happy memory keeping pads i love these guys i don't know if they sell them anymore but they're kind of old but they're really really fun to add to your memory planner and then i have my tiny sticker pads kind of just sitting here too i rarely ever reach for these i should probably put them up higher so that i do then in this pocket we have our discs most of them have fallen over and kind of just are a hot mess, but I do reach for them sometimes for photo props and stuff like that. And then if I'm ever changing out my discs in my planner, of course. Then over here, I just have like paper. Um, my laminator is usually sitting right here, but I just used it recently. So it's not sitting there right now. And I have my paper trimmer and just random stuff like that. Is that everything? That's everything that's my craft space well thank you guys so much for watching me kind of show you guys all of my craft space it's not very big um i used to have a huge room with a huge wall um of pegboards of, of my sticker books hanging on the pegboards it was beautiful um if i can find a picture i'll make sure i post it in here too but um rose cabined so here we are but anyway Thank you guys so much for watching me kind of show you guys my craft room. I hope that you continue to follow along as I plan a happy life and continue to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys.